M20 is built on the foundation of 20 great body movements. Let's talk about movement number one, the squat. It's a great functional movement for your entire body. It really works the big muscles. It's something you do every day, and making sure you do it properly is essential. The starting position is standing straight. Your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart, and your toes are pointed slightly outward. Now for level number one, you're going to use an arm assist. What I have here is a beam in my basement. Feel free to use a, a doorway frame, uh, a countertop, something that's stable that can help hold some of your body weight. So facing that assist, you're going to begin the movement by moving your bottom backwards and keeping your chest up, lowering yourself down until your thigh is parallel with the ground. Then using your arms, pull yourself back up until you're standing straight again. Now again, that motion is all about keeping your body weight on your heels throughout the entire movement. So down until the thigh is parallel with the ground. Using those arms, pull yourself back up to standing. For level two, when you're ready for it, we're going to use a chair. Level two is chair assist. Here what you're going to have is a chair, or in my case, a box, that allows me to sit at the bottom of the movement such that my thigh is parallel with the ground. So the height of this box will be different depending on your height, so make sure you find something that gives you this parallel thigh. Otherwise, the movement's exactly the same. You're going to begin in that starting position with your feet shoulder width apart, your toes pointed slightly outward, and then with the box positioned underneath you, lower yourself down, keeping your body weight on your heels, your chest up, and your back straight. Once you're down on that box, here you can rest for a moment, and get ready to drive back up. Drive through the heels. Push down on the heels, push your body up until you're standing for a rep. So again, lower yourself down, bottoms on the box, and drive yourself back up to complete that rep. Once you've gotten comfortable with that, you're ready for level three. Level three is called the air squat. And here you have nothing assisting you except for your own legs. So form is critical. Now remember the starting position, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outward. What I want you to focus on is keeping your body weight on your heels throughout this entire movement. Think about being able to wiggle your toes the whole time. Otherwise the movement's exactly the same. I'm going to begin with my bottom going backwards. I'm keeping my chest up and my back straight. Lowering myself until thighs are parallel with the ground and driving back up. Again, body weight is on your heels. As I'm down here, my arms are counterbalancing me because my body weight is so far back on my heels and my toes can actually wiggle. Drive back up to standing for a rep. And then again, down until thighs parallel to the ground and back up to complete that rep. Scoring the squat. You will have two minutes to complete as many reps as you can. You may choose any of these levels to perform those reps. In the beginning, start with level one, the arm assist, and start working your way up. As you tire, think about shaking your legs out for a moment, and then continuing. The goal is to keep moving as much as you can for the entire two minutes. If you're at level two or level three and you start to tire, think about coming down a level to continue getting reps. Either way, your fit deck score will improve based on your effort. So now you're ready to tackle the squat when you see it in a movement plan. I think you'll have a lot of fun with this movement. Keep moving.